Welcome to Love and Learn, your go-to destination for all things related to love and relationships. Are you navigating the complex world of dating and seeking guidance of building meaningful connections? Curious about the psychology of love and why we behave the way we do in relationships? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you've come in the right place. My name is Eileen. Here at Love and Learn, we believe that love is a beautiful journey filled with valuable lessons. And we're here to help you in every step of the way. In today's video, we'll talk about building trust in a relationship. In the weaving of relationships, trust emerges as the gentle yet mighty threads that binds the heart together. In every shared secret and upheld promise, trust deepens, secret a safe haven where love and Shakelby resides. Journey with us as we explore the art of building up breakable bonds, crafting a sanctuary where love forever dwells in trust. But before we dive into our video, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and now, let's get ready to love and learn. Trust is a cornerstone of any meaningful relationship, whether personal or professional. It acts as the foundation on which connections are built and maintained. Building, maintaining, and, if needed, rebuilding trust is a continuous process. Here's a guide on how to build trust in relationships. Open communication. 1. Speak honestly and openly about your feelings, thoughts, and concerns. 2. Listen actively, without interrupting or passing judgment. 3. Avoid keeping secrets that could harm the relationship. Consistency and reliability. 1. Be dependable. 1. If you say you'll do something, follow through. 2. Maintain consistency in your behavior so that others know what to expect. Transparency. 1. Share information and reasoning behind decisions. 2. Avoid hidden agendas. Empathy and understanding. 1. Try to understand others' feelings and perspectives. 2. Show compassion and support, even if you disagree. Take responsibility. 1. Admit and apologize for mistakes without shifting blame. 2. Make amends and demonstrate learning from those mistakes. Boundaries. 1. Understand and respect each other's boundaries. 2. Communicate your own boundaries clearly. Shared values and goals. 1. Find common ground and shared objectives in your relationship. 2. Reinforce and revisit these values regularly. Quality time. 1. Spend meaningful time together. 2. Engage in activities that allow you both to connect and understand each other better. Forgiveness. 1. Recognize that everyone makes mistakes. 2. Be willing to forgive and move past conflicts, while also addressing any underlying issues. Rebuilding trust, if broken. 1. Understand that rebuilding takes time. 2. Be consistent in showing changed behavior. 3. Seek counseling or mediation if needed. 1. Seek feedback. 1. Regularly check in on how the other person feels about the trust level in the relationship. 2. Be open to feedback and make necessary adjustments. 1. Educate together. 1. Learn about trust building activities or read literature on building trust. 2. Engage in workshops or couples counseling if needed. 1. Guard against complacency. 1. Recognize that trust needs to be nurtured continuously. 2. Don't take trust for granted, even if things seem perfect. 1. Act with integrity. 1. Always strive to act in a way that is true to your word and consistent with your values. 2. Avoid gossiping or speaking ill of others behind their backs. 1. Physical affection, in personal relationships. 1. Physical touch, like hugging or holding hands, can help in fostering a deeper emotional connection. 2. Always ensure that any physical contact is consensual and wanted. Building trust is an ongoing process that requires effort from all parties involved. It's also worth noting that while trust can take a long time to build, it can be broken quickly. Being mindful of these principles and committing to them will greatly enhance the level of trust in any relationship. Show vulnerability. 1. Letting your guard down and showing your true self can foster deeper connections. 2. Sharing personal stories, fears, and dreams can make the other person feel valued and trusted. Actively address concerns. 1. If someone has a worry or concern, 
Don't brush it off. 1. Engage in a conversation to understand and address it. 2. This demonstrates that you value the other person's feelings and perspectives. Set and respect expectations. 1. Clearly communicate what you expect from each other in the relationship. 2. If expectations change, communicate this promptly. Celebrate each other's successes. 1. Genuine happiness for another's achievements can further solidify trust. 2. Avoid jealousy or undermining the other's accomplishments. Practice patience. 1. Trust building is not always a swift process. 1. Be patient with each other's pace and comfort levels. Engage in team activities. 1. Working together towards a common goal can help build camaraderie and trust. 2. Consider activities like team sports, cooperative games, or joint projects. Invest in personal growth. 1. Personal development can enhance self-awareness and emotional intelligence, which in turn can improve relationship dynamics. 2. Encourage and support each other's individual growth journeys. Avoid unnecessary secrecy. 1. While everyone deserves privacy, unnecessary secrecy can breed distrust. Setting and respecting expectations is a pivotal component in any relationship, be it personal, professional, or even societal. When both parties understand and honor the anticipated actions and behaviors of one another, trust and mutual respect can thrive. Here's a closer look at how to set and respect expectations. Open dialogue. 1. Start with an open conversation where both parties can share their needs, hopes, and concerns. 2. Listen actively, trying to understand the other person's perspective without interrupting. Be clear and specific. 1. Ambiguity can lead to misunderstandings. 1. Clearly define what you expect and what you are committing to. 2. Use specific examples or situations to illustrate your points when necessary. Document expectations. 1. Especially in professional settings, it can be helpful to document agreed-upon expectations. 2. This provides a reference point and helps in ensuring mutual understanding. Establish boundaries. 1. Boundaries are personal limits that define how one prefers to be treated. 1. They're essential for emotional safety and well-being. 2. Clearly express your boundaries and ask the other party to share theirs. 2. Make sure you both understand and agree to respect these limits. Be realistic. 1. Set expectations that are achievable. 1. Unrealistic expectations can lead to disappointment and resentment. 2. It's essential to be honest about what you can and cannot do. Regularly review and adjust. 1. As circumstances and people change, expectations may need to be revisited and adjusted. 2. Periodic check-ins can be beneficial in ensuring that everyone is still on the same page. Address violations promptly. 1. If an expectation is not met, address it promptly and constructively. 2. Avoid letting resentment build. 2. Discuss what happened, understand the reasons, and determine how to move forward. Practice empathy. 1. Remember that everyone can make mistakes or face unforeseen challenges. 2. Approach breaches of expectations with a desire to understand, rather than to blame. Acknowledge efforts and growth. 1. Recognize and appreciate when someone is making an effort to meet expectations. 2. Positive reinforcement can be a powerful tool for nurturing trust and respect. Seek feedback. 1. Regularly ask for feedback on how you're doing and meeting the other person's expectations and share your feelings about their efforts. 2. This creates an environment where both parties feel valued and heard. 1. Educate and onboard. 1. In professional settings or group dynamics, new members should be educated about existing expectations. 2. Proper onboarding can help prevent misunderstandings or violations down the road. 1. Avoid assumptions. 1. Don't assume that the other party knows your expectations unless you've clearly expressed them. 2. Likewise, don't presume to know someone's expectations without them articulating them. 1. Negotiate compromises. 1. There may be instances when both parties have differing expectations. 1. In such cases, engage in a constructive dialogue to find a middle ground or compromise. When expectations are set, communicated, and respected, it creates a strong foundation for any relationship. It helps in minimizing conflicts, enhancing understanding, and fostering mutual respect. Show appreciation regularly. 1. 
recognize and show gratitude for the positive aspects and contributions of the other party. 2. A simple, thank you or gesture of appreciation can go a long way. Seek external support. 1. Sometimes, a third-party perspective can be beneficial. 2. This could be in the form of therapy, counseling, or even just talking to trusted friends or mentors. Educate yourself on trust issues. 1. Understanding the psychology behind trust issues can help in addressing them more effectively. 2. Consider reading books or articles on the topic or attending relevant workshops. Create a safe environment. 1. Ensure that the other party always feels physically and emotionally safe. 2. Avoid behaviors that may be perceived as threatening or domineering. Avoid keeping score. 1. Building trust isn't about keeping a tally of who did what. 2. Avoid using past mistakes as ammunition and disagreements. Stay away from ultimatums. 1. Threats and ultimatums can erode trust quickly. 2. Focus on constructive communication instead. Reflect regularly. 1. Periodically review the state of trust in your relationship. 2. Are there areas that need strengthening? Address them proactively. Building trust requires a mutual understanding that both parties are invested in the well-being of the relationship. While the journey can be challenging at times, the rewards of a trust-filled relationship are immense and enriching. Thank you for joining us in this journey through many facets of love and learning. We hope this video has inspired and touched your heart. If you found value in today's discussion and want to continue exploring the depths of love and knowledge, please subscribe our channel here. Our next video promises the other enlightening chapter in the journey of love and learning. Be sure to join us here. Thank you again for watching. Until we meet again, I'm Aline signing off. See you in the next video.